Hello. I wanted to make a quick and easy to follow video on how to do speech to text from Voice Wizard to VR Chat. Uh, everywhere I look online, it's taken like three hours to figure out how to do this. So we're gonna do that in this video today. Also, at the end, if you'd like to find out how to get Spotify displayed above your name, I'm also gonna be going over that. All right, to start off, as of April 9th, you're going to want to download 1.7.5 of Voice Wizard. Every other uh, version is not going to work. I'll put this in the description below. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to select that. It's going to go into your downloads folder. Once it does that, you're going to go into your folders. Into your downloads folders. All right. And then once it downloads, it's going to look like this. You're going to unzip it. Once you unzip it, you're going to go in here. Click on application. Once the application opens, it's going to look like this from the home page. You're going to go into settings and you're going to scroll down to audio. Now, for the sake of this video, I use Vosk. I found it's the easiest to use and the quickest to get set up. So you're going to go on the down arrow, click Vosk. Um, for your input device, it's going to be your microphone. Output is going to be what is being heard. This option here is it going to be important since we're not using a text to speech, we're just using a speech to text. So make sure this is disabled here. Once you do that, you're going to go into speech provider. You're going to go down to local. You're going to select that. Now you're going to need a Vosk model folder. So you're going to click on this question mark here. And it's going to take you to this page. So if you have a potato computer, you're going to want to get the low. Um, medium is for people that are like 12 gigabytes of ram high is for 32. i downloaded high and it took probably about five minutes to download it's about a two gigabyte download that's going to go into your downloads again folder your downloads again your folder your downloads your foot you get you get what i mean uh and then once you do that it's going to be it's going to look like this here once you find that you're gonna want to grab this and drag and drop it into this here into this uh little spot here and then once you've done that you're gonna go into text to speech and make sure this is no tts if it's not no tts it i believe it auto selects system speech which is going to be speaking over you 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 don't want that you don't want to hear yourself went through like a different voice so make sure you do no tts which is no text to speech it'll say no voice here okay and then you're gonna speech and text it's gonna say starting up vosk don't click anything don't click anything i've heard that if you do it can ruin things so just don't click anything just give it some time it'll take maybe a minute for the sake of this video i'm just gonna skip ahead Okay, once it's done, it should say Vosk listening, and you should see everything that you say being displayed here in this log. Here it is. And then also, it should be popping up in VR chat like so. If it's not, the one fix that I found for myself was to go into my little log here. A little scroll wheel log thing. I don't know what it's called. Go into options, OCS, and make sure this is enabled. If it's not enabled, it's not what you're saying is not going to pop up above your head. Okay, now in order to connect your Spotify and have it displayed above your name here in VR Chat, you're gonna want to go to Integrations and then Media Integration, Enable Spotify API Mode. Then you're gonna want to go to Spotify Developer Dashboard here. This is what it looks like. And then you'll go to dashboard here, create app. Doesn't matter what the name is, just put in random gobagoo. And then also random hubba. And then for URLs, this is where it's important because before April 9th, it was this here. Now you're going to want to put this in. I'll put it in the description below to make it easy. Once you've done that, you understand, save. And there you go. Now, under client ID, you want to copy this, whatever pops up here, copy. 
once you've copied that, get rid of this, and then paste it under client ID. And then you're going to connect Spotify. Once you've done that, it's going to pop up a page that looks like this. Click agree. And then success. It should work. When I'm talking, it'll get rid of Spotify. So when if I when I shut up, if I like stop talking, there you go. It should display what I'm playing what I'm listening to above my name. Okay. One more thing to add. If it doesn't pop back up after your speech here, you're gonna want to select output continuously. For me before, I believe output spam log was selected and it just kept on showing uh, Spotify, like what I'm listening to here in the log, which was kind of annoying, so I turned that off. Um, and then stop output while paused was also selected, so I disabled that. And then output continuously worked. So whenever my chat box would go away, Spotify would show again. But yeah, I think that's about it. For this video if you have questions feel free to comment below i can try to help you out with whatever is going on um and hopefully this was helpful thank you for watching goodbye